Hello YouTube, I wanted to bring a video together today that has been done before. Just full disclaimer, this video has been done before, it's been done by Fusion Thunder, it's been done by other people in the community, but I still see a lot of ignorance on the topic. People still don't understand whether they need 4 resilient or 5 resilient. And we're going to demystify that today, I want to try and make this definitive as possible. I think this is the, is the most comprehensive guide on resilient, I'm going to look at the, all the weapons in individual detail, explain whether you need Vicious on those weapons or not and hopefully try to give you a complete understanding of why I think 5 Resilient is possibly the best thing you can run in PvP over anything else. Some people think it's 4, I personally think it's 5. This video is going to demystify that. If you enjoy the content, please give me a like and subscribe. Trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month, that'd be fantastic if we can make that. And as always, Discord link in the description below. Twitch link in the description below if you want to see me stream the game. And comment section is always open. If you have any feedback on the videos, please let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, let's get into the video. Essentially, let me explain how crit multiplier works and how crit damage works, and then we see how resilient fits into that piece, because I think fundamentally, lots of players don't understand how crit damage works on this game. And I, when I talk about this, I'm talking, look, a, a little disclaimer for me, nothing in New World works perfectly. And I'll give you a great example. My friend Fus Fusion Funder, if you've not seen Fusion, I'm going to link his channel in the description below. You, and I'm going to put a card for his freedom test on the front of you now. You should go and watch that video. It's a great video. He does brilliant testing. He tested freedom. It didn't work. Not exactly as it should be, right? The 10% each iteration doesn't quite work like that. And resilient also doesn't quite work like that. It's kind of like sometimes you get a, like a, an extra bump. Sometimes you get a lesser bump. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to make some simplifying assumptions. Yeah, we're not going to mess around with doing that testing. If you want to look at the actual testing, I'll go and recommend Fusion. I'm going to give you how it works at a high level, enough for you to understand and kind of, you know, put it in the game. How crit works? Crit works on a, has a bad luck protection mechanic that not everyone knows about. So all weapons have, roughly speaking, around a, I think all weapons even have a 3% crit hit chance, which means every, ideally, uh, if you did 100 hits, three of them would crit, in theory is how it should work. Keen is a plus 12% crit chance boost when it has 625, plus I think 11% when it's not on 625, yeah, 11% there. You can also get crit on your ring called Keen Awareness, which is the same thing. So you could get 12% there, 12% on Keen on here, that's 24%, plus here, 27%. You can also get additional crit on your skill trees, so Critical Frost gives you increased crit chance by 15%. So you can see here that if I had Keen on my ring, on my weapon, inbuilt crit on the weapon, and on the skill tree. And not only that, you can also get crit chance on your helmet through crit retribution. Okay. You can quite easily get to 50% crit. So it should mean that every other crit, if you get up to that kind of thing, every other crit would happen. But the game has bad luck protection. And the best way to explain bad luck protection is around 10% crit chance. If you have 10% crit chance, you should think that one out of 10 hits would be a crit. It doesn't work like that. Basically, if the first hit doesn't crit, the crit chance gets added on to the next hit. So then you have a 20% crit hit chance. And if it doesn't work, you get another 10% added on. So it becomes a 30% crit hit chance. And if you don't crit again, it becomes another one added on. You get a 40% crit hit chance. And this bad luck protection mechanic means that the game crits way more than you ever think. People look at this and go, oh, well, resilience isn't that good. It's only on crits. Yeah, but the crits are so abundant in this game through the bad luck protection mechanic. That's worth protecting against crits very strongly. Now let me explain to you how crit damage works. Because some people don't understand whether Vicious is a good perk or not. Some people don't understand when Vicious can be a good perk. And some people don't understand how many resilience take because they don't understand how crit damage multiplier works. So I'm going to start with a really basic example. A lot of weapons, most weapons in the game, have a base 1.3 crit damage multiplier. What that means is that if your hit was going to do 100... If you crit, you'll do 130. It's a 30% damage uplift. That damage multiplier is really important. What can affect crit damage multiplier? Well, Vicious can affect crit damage multipliers. You see, Vicious gives you plus 12%. Well, it's not 12% of 30. It's 12% on top of 30. So 1.3 becomes 1.42 crit damage multiplier. And on top of crit damage multiplier through Vicious and the base, there are things on the skill tree again that can impact crit damage multipliers so. is on ice scorn it has a has a type of vicious there you go energized critical 
another 10% crit damage when your stamina is full. That's another kind of vicious. So on top of having crit damage through vicious and the skill tree and the base, you can also get crit damage multipliers when your healer runs vicious beacon. Well, it's called king beacon, right? I think it's called king beacon, but it's really vicious beacon. So, sorry, 50 intelligence gives you plus 10% crit hit damage. That's another form of vicious. And then you can get dex, which gives you backstab and headshot damage. That is a form of vicious, right? And this 10% bonus to random crit hit damage on 250 dex as well. There's plenty of things that can uplift your crit hit damage. So now you understand how crit hit damage works and crit chance works. Let me explain how resilient works. How resilient works... If you haven't seen the Fusion Thunder testing on Resilient, I'm going to link. I can't. I don't think I can link his video, but I'm going to put the screenshot of the card from his video that does the Resilient testing. It's a little bit old, but it still works, I assure you. And I'm going to link it in the description below. Go and check out Fusion Thunder if you haven't. This guy's a top YouTuber and his brother, the core gameplay as well. Go and check these two guys out. Resilient works in an opposite way to Vicious. So if I go back to that example, where I said Vicious. If you look at Ice Gauntlet, 1.3 crit hit damage. With Vicious, 12% becomes 1.42. It's additive, right? Resilient works as a deduction from that. So let me open the, the Death Metal Rockstars Discord. I must put in guides and links. Here we go. Here we go. Right, so one Resilient is 4.8%. Two Resilient is 9.6. 14.4, da 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 Someone did the testing for me from Full Control as well, so we can see how this actually works. You can see the, the effective differential... For one resilient is 5%, 5%, 5%. If you get to 7, I'm going to explain how you get to 7, it becomes 10%. So basically the testing works as intended. But with 5 resilient on your armor, you can get up to 24% reduction. Okay, 24% reduction on crit hit multiplier. So if this is 1.3 crit hit multiplier, and we get minus 24%, this becomes 1.04 crit hit multiplier, which means... Every time they do a crit, they only get 4% damage boost. Okay, 4%. How do you get to 7 resilient? You get to 7 resilient by going 200 con. 200 con gives you minus 10% crit damage taken. It's worth 2 resilient. So 5 resilient on your armor plus 200 con is seven, effective 7 resilient. If you get that, that is minus 34% resilient. If I have 1.3 crit damage multiplier and I get minus 34% crit hit damage through having seven resilient, then this basically becomes one. This can't go less than one, which means your auto attacks that crit and your auto attacks that don't crit deal exactly the same damage. You can negate all crit hit damage less than 34% crit damage multiplier. That's why seven resilient matters. That's why it matters. And some people say, oh, that last resilient, the fifth resilient on your armor is somewhat wasted because... I only need to mitigate 30% damage, and I've got I can mitigate 34% damage, right? But the problem with that attitude to me is vicious or crit damage multipliers are so prevalent in this game that very little things stand at 1.3 crit hit damage. A lot of people run vicious still as a multiplier. A lot of mages in the game, which means they're getting all of this 10% crit hit damage. And Blunderbuss is getting that. Now, Blunderbuss, we'll talk about actually, it's an exceptional case. Ignore the Blunderbuss point. A lot of mages in the game doing additional crit hit damage, and a lot of dex players in the game doing more. And there's a lot of skill trees like, I'll give you a really good example Great Axe. Great Axe has a 1.3 crit damage multiplier. Except when you have a look at Great Axe, Keen Edge should be called Vicious Edge. Crit damage increased by 10%. So crit damage multiplier on Grax isn't actually 1.3. It's actually 1.4. So most weapons in this game have an effective crit damage multiplier of 1.4. So you getting 7 resilient and reducing that to 34% to an effective 6% is always valuable. You very, very rarely waste that fifth resilient on your armor. You, all, you pretty much always need it for most damage types. Now, what damage types kind of don't need Vicious then? Based on all of that, you know, do you need to run Vicious on your armor? Well, Vicious can be valuable on your armor for that reason. But the kind of weapons that don't benefit from Vicious at all are the Warhammer. Do I have a Warhammer on me? Yes. A Warhammer has a 1.2 crit damage multiplier. It doesn't have a crit damage multiplier in the skill tree. So if you get Vicious on it, it becomes 1.32. 
If people run five resilient, that's minus 34%. This means you get no bonus damage, even with Vicious. That's why Vicious is a dead perk on Warhammer. And I don't care what you say, Nero58, who tells me, oh, Vicious is good. No, it's Vicious is shit. Everyone should be running five resilient. If you're not, I think you are throwing a bit in PvP. It's the best perk you can have because of the prevalence of crit damage. Works on elemental and physical damage. And if you do that, you completely negate all of Warhammer Vicious damage. Blunderbuss has a 1.15 crit damage multiplier. Even with Vicious comes 1.27 plus elemental 1.37. No one runs Vicious on Blunderbuss for that reason because you basically negate all of the additional Blunderbuss damage. So other than Blunderbuss and Warhammer, every weapon can really benefit from Vicious and crit damage multipliers. Rapier has already a 1.4 crit damage multiplier. This is an effective 1.4. Firestaff has an effective 1.45, I think. There's plenty of in the inbuilt in the tree, and lots of people run Vicious on their Firestaff as well. Lots of people running Keen on their uh, Vicious on their swords or Rogue. Okay, so all of these other weapons, and if you're running Dex, you're getting that additional crit hit damage as well. All of these Dex weapons have really high multipliers. So yeah, basically, other than Warhammer and Blunderbuss, every other weapon can benefit from Vicious in some way. That's not to say it's the best, because things like Attunement sometimes better, but they can benefit from Vicious fully. Hopefully that explains to you why 5 Resilient on your armor is super important. And hopefully that gives you a complete understanding of Resilient, Crit Chance, Crit Damage Multiplier, when Vicious is good. But look, if anything is unclear for you, do, let answer, do ask any questions in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to answer them. You can drop into my Twitch stream. Twitch link is also in the description below. And come and ask me for some questions or some advice. If there's anything that you particularly find unclear, I'm more than happy to try to demystify that for you. But hopefully... That illustrates why I think 5 Resilient is so important. Thank you for watching the video. Please give me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. It keeps helping me making this content for you. Until next time, everyone, stay safe, keep rocking.